and that was done in 2009. And that S-curve allows us to continue to have traffic flow while we build the transition structure. The reason why we need to build the transition structure is because we go from side-by-side -side lanes to upper and lower deck sections. But once again, all of that burgundy steel, once the uh, lanes are built, all of that burgundy steel and everything will be removed. It has four foundations with four legs, so there are 16 legs that make up our main tower. And when we go underneath, you're going to see the little square blocks. Those little square blocks hide the shearling cable, the shearling beams that we talked about. And you can see this is where our bike and pedestrian paths go. So this, uh, this little slide that's cantilevered off, that's our 15 and a half foot bike and pedestrian pathway. Once again, all of this bus work will be removed. So this is going to be an open space. Once this bridge, once this bridge is uh, self anchored. Those great 
those gray hinge pipe beams. Those are 60 feet long. They're clamped on one side. They're free to move on the other side. And then you see the accordions up top, the steel accordions. That will help give it that movement. If we try to embrace and try to fight against Mother Nature, against the earthquake, we're going to lose. And so we want to go with the flow. And so this is going to help us do that. The bridge is going to shake, it's going to move, it's going to twist. And if you're on it when there's a big earthquake, you might be a little scared. You might have to change your pants when you get home. But wait, you'll be able to get home because the bridge will remain standing. millimeter wires is strong enough to hold up a military grade tank. Each wire, each five millimeter wire is strong enough to hold up a military grade tank. Now, when this main cable is put up, it's going to weigh 10.6 million pounds. So you're getting 280,000 vehicles going over that uh, bridge, you know, along with that weight. So this has to be strong. Now, the reason why we painted this is because, as you can see, if you put you know, little circular things uh, together, it doesn't get a circular pattern. We needed to compact it to get our circular pattern. And what we did was we painted these so we could see what each one of the bundles, how each one of the bundles would react after we compacted it. Now, all of these bundles are going to get splayed out into the eastbound roadway and westbound roadway. They're inside the roadway. So the roadway from Oakland to Yerba Buena Island, it's hollow. And in here, we have tie rods. We have 137 tie rods that hold each one of these, and they can tension them uh, to the appropriate tension. This bridge is built to withstand a 1,500-year seismic event in the Bay Area. So there could be a, a, the biggest seismic event the 1500 years you know coming up in five years and ten years however long however long that is it's going to withstand it and this is one of the things that it's going to do what this is is this is a fuse this fuse is called a shear link beam the shear link beam hooks up from one tower leg to the other tower leg so you guys would be the other tower leg right here and what that is is if there's a big earthquake this shear link beam takes all of the energy of the earthquake the tower legs will be able to move They'll be able to go, and these shearling beams will take in all of the energy. Go! go. go.